This is Langley Mill, a small market town in Derbyshire's Amber Valley. See now in it the program, train station, and it's close to give you a little airport. like detail Langley about where Mill they are in the town, a little well bit of history being close and to stuff. Derby and with what I hope will be an interesting property lot. Okay, let's have a look. What we got? So, what was up for auction? This guy is well, jokes, bro. Well, two bed terrace, pretty much like these. Guy okay. price fifty thousand pounds plus. And you can't bro? go wrong with these kind of properties. Already, why is the the bottom <laughs> button on the jacket? <laughs> the bottom button on the jacket yeah. is done up. What have we got? Okay. In this well, quite a surprise. Look at the state the of this house, bro. Very How is there just a stairs been, in the uh, middle of the sitting room? Time. Um, mate, bruv, look at this state of this house, bro. You see these houses? These are people that just up and left. They said, bro, we need to go. They left no the kettle. Surprises uh -uh, with an old fireplace. Now that's Yo, look how much stuff is left in that house. The bonus is that you see the VCR. Really spacious. There are plastic flowers. This house is dusty. Uh -uh. Didn't even finish the towels. Paint on the Ross Clark light switches. With a bigger you got knock this. See this bit here? This little shed? Knock all this down, man. Have even more bedrooms upstairs. This is the estate we agent. Long, an agent from you know they just said to him, Anne, if you could just give us a walk right now. On this property guided at £50,000 plus. This is you just walking into the property for us. Just open the door. Fantastic. <laughs> First impressions of the property is 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 tired. It's exhausted. Let it, it, it requires a, a fair amount of work. Uh, there is scope. Uh, there is uh, good. To this house looks like it smells of even, old even cigarettes. You know that old cigarette uh, smell. The property is tired. Property is tired, bro. It's so tired, bro. Okay, if you just you walk in the property, just give us a look around. Look at this shit, Al. Fantastic. If you just walk out. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Pounds and spent I ain't gonna lie. This it, bit, pounds slightly pounds boring. You know, they just talk about the... Yeah, but, you know, you can get this property a bit. 500 per calendar. Big man, show me the reveal, innit? You see what these auctions... Half, I always think, one, they, 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 sometimes they, they half, just have plants in there, 52, making the bid go up. Half, you know, like that. 53... I mean, he's a plant, bro. Light, <laughs> you can tell the people that don't really time. want to buy the property, you know. Too time. tough. They're just sure bidding. Yeah. Hammers up it goes at 56,000 pounds. I was so never going to buy it. Number 72. Thank you. Guan Gladys. And so the hammer fell now, Beatrice. on the two-bed terrace or house in Langley at 56,000. Judith. And it was bought by husband and wife team, Barbara and Stephen. Oh, I was close. Their new Barbara and Stephen. find out the plan. Man like you're, Steven. You're he looks like one of those neighbours though. House, if your ball goes over his garden, mm -hmm. you're we not getting that ball back, boy. <laughs> Keep the layout as it is with the stairs I in the middle so. here. Yes, I think so. What? No, no man, take the stairs out, bruv. Yeah, yeah. um, who's going to do the work? Um, most of it will be us. Right. Why is he looking at him like he don't believe him? Look, look, look his face. So what's the budget for the work you got planned? Well, about, well, we said about 10,000, didn't we? Okay. Mm. And the time scale? <laughs> I, th I think it's going to take me probably nine months to <laughs> no, a year. No, man. I will <laughs> get, obviously, this. Some gas on this guy is so, and your daughter's gonna help so, out. so passive, well, bro. Listen, congratulations. But it's good so with it. good to watch. Look forward to seeing how you get no, on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So slightly unconventional reasons for choosing a property, but actually I think they've got a pretty good See, you see, how he, you see how he's passive, bro? He's mad passive, you know? Quite uh, unconventional reason for choosing a property, but uh, I love it, though. I swear, man, I love it. We're in Wales. 25 grand for a house. Woo! That is cheap, bro. Let's have a look. Let's check it out. You got your wellies on. Well, inside, the first thing you notice you know is that it's a lot brighter than you might it's expect from these sorts of houses. It's not bad. It's wooden stairs in that. Through to a reception room. You know, it's a okay. really good size. Oh, that, ooh, look, look at the state of the... What is that? Fruit teller wallpaper. Disgusting. As you could get your shower, there your was kids there. there. You can see the little... So the kitchen, I'd imagine, is through here. Okay. Nope. You've got a set of stairs. Now... What? This could explain and solve the mystery of the three floors. Let's have a look. Come on, let's investigate. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Ah, <laughs> I don't need to update it. does solve the mystery. So downstairs Woo, that's a lot here of pink. in what you might call the basement, you have the kitchen. But what's wonderful is- The kitchen downstairs. I don't know about a kitchen downstairs, you know. The house. 
uh, not so great. You have quite a lot of damp patches, kind uh, of black and mouldy around the door. Dusty holes. And the plus side, no, it is around no, the door. No. So perhaps thinking, it's not ideal to have your kitchen. It wouldn't be to everyone's taste to have that's it down here. What do you do? Do you make your supper and carry it up the stairs on a exactly, tree? Exactly, that's what sociable. I said. But then again, you have mm. a great garden area. And what a view it's of not the bad. hills. It's Absolutely a big stunning. hill. So you but it's not bad. It you know, by taking a wee G and T outside, enjoying it, or your cup of tea in the morning, or cup or of tea in the morning. G and T, very British. Ah, British. Yeah. Ooh, Time that to is get to the top dirty floor. Tea, tea. Upstairs to our bedrooms, and Let's have a look at the, bedrooms. the floral theme on the wallpaper continues. The wallpaper is mm -hmm. hanging off, but you know, just cosmetic. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, is it? For twenty-five bags. And There's a lot you can do with this one. Oh, here comes your local estate agent. Bed house. Hi, my name's John Duncan. For me and in Smiths. Okay, uh, Mr. So Philip, if you can just walk in, figures, just have a look. Fantastic. Just look at the place. Look at the, the room. Renovated. You've never seen a room before, and just walk out. Fantastic. Man, like Lee Dixon. Thirty-seven, madam. Got thirty-seven. You go thirty-eight, sir. No, right, what he said, no, 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 I don't want this, yeah, it's not a bargain no more. 40 bags, because they all know it's not worth 40 bags. Man said it's worth 25. You want to you wanna double your peas with a property thing. Sold for 40,000 pounds. Who was it? Joanna. Okay, because I was like, right, well, my man did not look happy, that black guy, innit? <laughs> the night before the auction, she just did tell me, oh, there is auction tomorrow morning, would you like to go? So I thought of coming to the auction, see how it, how it's gonna go on, mm -hmm. just to get an idea about the auction, but she had a different idea. I had, I've done a bit of research. Yeah, she done a bit of research, I didn't know. And, uh, you didn't have a clue, you didn't have a choice. So Joanna, you had a different Husbands, idea. Husbands, that man don't have a choice. She's gonna buy a property, are we, you coming? <laughs> Rommel wasn't just sure. I'm, I'm kind of a driving force. So see, I told you. <laughs> and, uh, she and wears the trousers, the belt, the shoes, and the jackets. Um, she we said, "Look, we're going to auction on on Friday. <laughs> Give me your card, my brother." The kitchen, slightly unusually, is downstairs. It's downstairs. Yeah. Do you want to keep it that way? We want to because I it goes, so, yeah. goes out to you the. You can't have a kitchen so downstairs, man. Okay, so we're back in Derby, yeah? with the stairs in the middle. Okay, so let's see the reveal. This is my favorite bit. Wonder what they've done. Woo! Okay, stands out. They painted it white. It's looking a bit old though, like with a. It doesn't really go with the street. Okay, it, it's nice, but this you can't have the stairs like that. Okay, they got a fireplace. Let's have a look at the door. Okay. Modern. It's so much more welcoming. It's it's nice, but new kitchen. Uh, okay. New bathroom. They got the bathroom and that downstairs. And what about upstairs? Tell me if they cleaned up this dusty room. Okay. So they put a wall in there somewhere. Large bedroom. Okay. See, I, I love this bit. This bit is the best bit of the whole program. The third bedroom. I'm gonna get a little lodger in there. Help pay off the Most mortgage. Oh, she's so got a new jacket. Go on, Barbara. Turquoise. My, my man Steve with an ivory shower. jacket. Oh, so Ooh, look at the garden. Now nah, the garden's garden nice though. It's a real old people's type of garden. Yeah, I, li I like that garden, man. And recycling Looks like a little barn. New was a yeah, you know what? It, it doesn't look too bad. It stands out with it being white. Oh, let's have a look at the budget. I bet they went over a bit, though. Well, we'd set a budget of about £10,000. Fifteen. Uh, we've come in, I think, well, it's about eight and a half for Woo! the actual renovation. Lower. And then, uh, okay. um, so we, we aren't much over, really. Okay. With an £11,000 spend. Here comes the estate agent. Oh, my girl with a long coat. Price. Well, it was the Matrix, bro. Do you want to know what it is? Seven thousand pounds invested in to get it This guy looks like one real headmaster, innit? Oh, we got we got Neo with a long jacket. I think they've made a really nice job. Um, it's very clean. My first impressions of the renovations are Rob, that they've all been. This guy just looks like a headmaster, innit? <laughs> So you look bare like a teacher, innit? £33,000 pre-tax profit on the resale market. But what about the all-important rental potential? Well, let's check out the rental potential. 
I would suggest that if this property were offered to the rental market, it would achieve somewhere in the region of 525 to That's 550 That's why I like this teacher home. guy. Put the quick maths up. together. So for Barbara and Stephen, are there more property developments on the horizon? No more plans to do anymore, or I didn't have. Yeah. Um, but my daughter bought me a house at Christmas. What? Pause this, bruv. Oh my God! Wow! Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? My daughter bought me a house at Christmas. <laughs> Yo! That's some that's some new money, bruv. That kind of money is different, bruv. <laughs> Listen, if I have kids, yeah, and they get me socks. Listen, I'll throw the socks in their face, you know. Listen, go on. What are you telling them, Barbara? But it's a doll's house. <laughs> got <he. laughs> They got me. They sucked me in, you know. They sucked me in with that one. Was oh, this one of the excited. day. Inside, you can tell straight away this floor here was used as What's a this? food takeaway. Hey, right this is a proper boss man great. chicken and chip shop. And, um, <laughs> Yo. Here, what kind I of takeaway was it? Been the restaurant area. I wouldn't fancy ordering my food here as it is at the moment. What a snob, a man. Tea. Some of you see these places, yeah? Let me tell you a lot, Sam. You see these kind of places. This is the best place you can get food from, you know? I swear to you. There's a place called Eggies in, what, New Cross? Bruv. The place don't look good, but the food? Mm, 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 mm. Bangs, innit? Sam the fruit vegetables. Directly above the commercial Warmy. unit was living accommodation. Okay. So, oh, they've got a flat. Raw the floor tids. were three rooms to the front of the building. This One was... What? No look at her! Uh, this is ghetto. So this room was followed nah, by a man. bathroom. Okay, what are you telling us, Lucy? What about taking this whole property and turning it into residential? How about a couple of houses? Mm. However, there is something I haven't told you yet. She's so excited. That could affect planning permission here. Oh, what is this? Here we this go. This property is grade two listed. Now, don't get too oh. excited because that means there'll be extra restrictions. You see grade two listed? Guys, young people, don't buy no grade listed house, yeah? Can't do nothing to it, bruv. <laughs> yeah? You know sometimes you'll see a mansion, yeah? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. You know sometimes you'll see a mansion, yeah? Look at this. You know sometimes you'll see a mansion, yeah? I said, no. Nah. You're like, bro, that's so cheap. You know why? Because you can't do nothing to it, bruv. Nothing. With grade two, you have to keep it like it is, yeah? Bro, it's just, it's just long. Just don't buy anything grade one, two, five, nine. I don't know, innit? Don't buy no grade listed properties, yeah? Uh, this looks like... The house the three little pigs lived in, boy. This is old, bro. Who's gonna buy this? Let's have a look. Nine G two eight. Thank you. Uh, oh, taking away the listing smiling, bro. For Smile, bro. What's the name, Clive? Paul, who runs his own building firm, had already picked up Clive. his main dish Paul. in the shape of a neighbouring property for 130. So he's got all. So he's oh, he's got all these properties. Dish. But unfortunately, Rotted. he broke some homes under like the hammer. Paul, you know. Rules. I didn't bother to investigate inside or look into any of the details of it. But um, I turned up at the auction, and um, it was the bidding was going so slowly that um, I bought it on impulse. You just bought it. I, what? Yeah. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Yo, you see that kind of money there, yeah? When you buy things on impulse. More times I'll buy like a packet of crisp, a chocolate, and then just an impulse, I'll get like a Freddo or you know like the things that I need a counter. Man bought a property on impulse because the bidding was slow. <laughs> hey, lend me a pound, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a bit shocked and surprised? Yeah, I was a bit because I hadn't gone there intending to buy it at all. So I just spent two hundred, um, you know, over a quarter of a million pound. <laughs> what? Um, just a million. <laughs> it's a different kind of wealth when you said you know what i just thought pff, just drop what quarter of a mil in it it's quarter of a mil wow you see this reveal it's gonna be a mad thing in it i'm so you see this is what i live for this program for is when people like paul say you know what let's liven it up let me just spend quarter of a mil and let's 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 liven it up Okay. Paul seemed confident he knew what he was getting into. 
He initially thought the building work would take about six months and had 80 grand to spend on each unit. But Definitely when not. we returned almost three years later, things yeah. hadn't exactly gone to plan. Oh. And the reason for the delay was, of course, because the building was grade two listed. See, I'm telling you, bruv, when you buy this grade two stuff, it is long. <laughs> Man's all talking about conserv co conservation and that. <laughs> Is that even... Did I even say it right? Con... Con... Yeah. is old. <laughs> it's been a bit of a um, roller coaster. We kept thinking that we'd reached a point where we could go ahead. February um, 2017. But, um, this is why, yeah? If you're going to get into this property stuff, make sure you do your research. Just because somewhere looks good and it's an old mansion, yeah? And then you buy it, then you want to do it up. They're telling you use grade two, grade one, grade... I don't know. I don't even know how many grades they got up to, yeah? But you see, my man, normally it's six months, three years. It's long. Look at the this wood crumbling, that apple crumble. Um, oh my um, gosh. He didn't even want to pull it because he knows it will come, it will come down. I bet if you asked Paul, would you still buy this place? He'd be like, no. I don't know why I bought this. He bought impulse. You see what I'm saying about this impulse thing? All right. So we'll see later if Paul was able to do it. Fingers crossed for you, Paul, you know. Okay, we are back in Wales, people. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. So as you it's walking, not bad. Uh, we knocked down the whole wall. We okay. made an open plan. Full open plan. I see. It I changes. see. The bedrooms remain at the top of the house, quite a distance from the kitchen. That's long. You gotta go downstairs for that midnight downstairs, snack. Downstairs, the whole kitchen. As You're you going on a tour, bro. Uh, renovated. Uh, so have a look at the kitchen. Believe, My kitchen. Uh, I love seeing kitchen. renovated kitchens. That's nice. I like that. Really Let's have a look at the garden. Yeah, it's all right, man. It can do. You know what I mean? It can do. And Cleaned it up. Nice. It looks good, man. They done, they done a good job with this one. <laughs> man walked in like some and road. Did man walked exactly <laughs> walk in here. Let me check out so the door, innit? <laughs> Man is some road man. To get to the Property developer. Week, their role was Did they keep? I think they went over. Uh, over. About 20 grand mark. Woo! Man said 10. Went up to 20. 20 grand okay, guys, if you just walk in here for the property. Fantastic. Bill and Ben. So have they got These guys do not look like it's their agents, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> These are like dads at weddings. <laughs> I've come back Two to the property done on the second shirt. time. Um, they've done some work to it, um, and the work is average. It's, it's a decent enough for a rental. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The standard finish, uh, first impressions, is pretty good. Uh, I've seen Richard, much worse. I've looking like a music better, teacher. But, uh, I think it's <laughs> overall very good standard of finish. I think with the layout changes, it's pretty what decent. Them, um, some people will like it, some people won't, but I think it's quite modern living now. I really like the it's all right, man. You can live in that. That's, 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 it's a nice house, man. He said it's average in that. That's a nice house, man. Well, let's hope the quality of the finish isn't a big issue, as this has always been a resale project. The quality of the finish. It's all right, man. So what are you talking about? You, this is livable. You know, like that, that. You can live in that house. Current market for seventy-five to eighty thousand pounds. I would value okay. the property between eighty-five and ninety thousand pounds. Because you paid 80, so you know you want a profit, fam. Yeah, 4, 420 a month is all right. Look, look, for, the, for what it is, let's say it's average. You're paying 420 pounds a month, bro. <laughs> That's calm, man. All right. Okay, this is the one, though. Remember, they went they went three, they went three years later, yeah? And it weren't finished. Remember, you had the, 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 the wood, the rot is grade two. It took him three years. Ah uh, man, come on, Paul, man. I'm, I'm excited about this one. I got a feeling Paul might have done it. Remember, he bought this on impulse. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on, just show us. Show us. I need to see this place. Come on, man. My guy, Paul, they tried to burn it down. They nicked these wires. Come on, Paul, man. Come on, show us, man. And now, where are we? Where are we? Yes! <laughs> yes, Paul! So, four completed houses. <laughs> yes. Hey! Oh, I hate that. Oh, that is not a nice sofa. That sofa is horrible. Okay, it's two houses. The kitchen. 
Yes, Paul. Oh, the yeah, that's a, that's a nice a kitchen, though. Front and a large Kitchen's all right. Plan kitchen at the back with patio doors to a garden. Oh, yeah, man. Go Upstairs, on, Paul, man. I'm happy for Paul, man. Bedrooms and a bathroom. He won in the end, man. All with a lovely mix of modern and old. Yeah. Got a little mix. Not for me, personally. Two Paul's further bedrooms. A great job here. And I think he's pleased, no, too. No, big up to man like... Pool, you know. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> I'm to for him. him. Um, it's good location and everything. So, he and, not and the buildings, um, it's, it's like already inside. Little All gardens and that. A large parking area at the rear. And they got their own park. Well, That's what you know. What project, big up pool. Man bought this on impulse, you know. Consent, were there many that, that garden is small work. though. Hey, continuity. That's not good, man. You can see the cameraman, bro. <laughs> Fair enough. And with a total purchase price for the two separate buildings. Okay, fantastic guys. We're going to see you at pounds. Looking at this property. Like four hundred thousand pounds spent on the renovation work. Paul will okay. have six hundred and thirty-nine thousand pounds. Look at the garden. Into this Look at the property. That took him ten years to build. Four years. We just have you in a. Was that Alice in Wonderland, bro? Estate agents. Thank you. No, no, not shooting. Thanks. It's been very, very well done. The layouts flow really, really nicely. I like the kitchen. This guy is young, bro. And there's the little snug lounges at the front. Work really, really well. Ryan. You know, it's amazing. Great. Listen, you better give my man a good valuation. You know, what's the profit? Must be a profit. For the two four bedroom properties, I would value at three hundred and fifty thousand pounds each, and I market the two three bedroom properties at three hundred thousand pounds each. Three hundred thousand pounds. So the combined development is worth one point three million pounds, which you could see a potential pre-tax profit of six hundred and sixty-one thousand. Wow. That's a, that's a but for profit. Paul, it's the rent. You lot notice this guy ain't smiled once. That's how you know he's rich. This is normal for him, bruv. He's not even smiling. He said, bruv, I do this. <laughs> I just buy stuff on impulse. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So that is the end of Homes Under the Hammer Time. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and yeah, take care and respect your mum.